next door. Chapter 1, The Party. Harry was a white dog with black spots. He loved all his neighbors, all except one. He did not love the lady next door. The lady next door sang, she sang high and loud, and she sang Harry's ears perfect. She sang higher than the peanut whistle. She sang the pe when she sang, the peanut man put his hands over his ears. She sang louder than the siren of the fire engine. When they, when she sang, she they put their hands over their ears. She sang higher and louder than the cat sang. When she sang, the cat ran away. Harry tried everything to make her stop. She, he howled under her window. The friends howled too, but. It did not do any good. The lady next door went on singing. She sang high, higher and louder than ever. One day, Harry's family gave a party. They invited the lady next door. She came with her music. When she started to sing, Harry almost bit her leg. But she beat the leg of the piano and sang. The family sent Harry out of the room. You are a bad dog, they said. Harry just wagged his tail. As he walked to the door, some people said, poor Harry, but others whispered, that one people. When Harry pushed the door open, the wind blew in, and it blew the pages of, off the music, of the music off the piano. The, they blew all around the room. Everyone tried to catch the music, but no one could. The pages flew out of the door and into the garden. They blew over the fence and up into the trees. Mm -hmm. Harry caught some of the peaches, but he did not bring them back. He ran away with them. He ran until he came to a quiet spot. He dropped the music and lay down. So he fell asleep. In a little while, something woke him up. All around him were cows mooing. They moved very low notes. Harry listened. He thought the cows made, it, made beautiful music. He had never heard anything so soft and low. He wished the lady next door would sing like the cows. Suddenly, Harry had an idea. He rounded up all the cows and barked at their heels. Down the road they went. Harry barked uh, and the cows moved. They ran on and on. They ran down the main street of town. They passed the school, the library, and the firehouse. When they came to Harry's house, the lady was still singing. Harry ran ahead and stopped the cows. They went on moving. They moved and mood and mood. They all moved soft, low, <coughs> soft and low. The cows moved for a long time, but it did not not do any good. The lady next door went on singing. She sang higher and louder than ever. Air Slammer family called the man who owned the cows. He came and took them home. That night, Harry slept in the doghouse. Chapter 3 Harry's Second Trap. The next day, the lady next door sang some more. Harry eaters hurt more than ever. He went for a walk. After he had walked for a long time, he heard. A wonderful sound. Oompa, 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 oompa. It was low and lovely. The then Harry saw what it was. It was the big horn in the fireman's band. The big horn was even softer and lower than the cow. Mooey. Harry walked along listening. He wished the lady next door would sing like the big, big horn. The, then he saw the leader of the band. The leader threw his stick 
intimately a year. Harry watched suddenly he the next time hmm. suddenly he had an idea. The next time he stood on into the air, Harry caught it. Harry ran in front of the band the leader ran after him and the band ran after the leader. Soon the leader was all out of breath. He stopped running, but the band ran after Harry. The man played as they ran. Harry led them all down the main street of town. They passed the school, the library, and the firehouse. Harry stopped the band in front of the lady's house. She was still singing a big horn play, play, play even softer and lower than before. He blew and blew right under the, her window, but it did no, it did not do any good. The lady next door went on singing. She stand high. She sang how higher and louder than ever. When the leader got there, he had Harry's family with him. Harry gave the stoop back that night. He slept in the doghouse again. A few nights after that, the, that, a few nights after that, the family took Harry to the park. They were going to hear the farmer's band. The family knew that Harry liked the big horn. They got to the park and sat down. A light shone on the stage. The people were quiet. They waited for the music to begin. Harry closed his eyes and listened. He waited for the big horn. He waited for the soft, low notes. But the low notes never came. Instead, a man came out. Good evening, friends. The big horn player thought. Good evening, friends, he said. The band will not play tonight. The big horn player is all out of breath. Instead, we shall have a singing contest. And here are the ladies who were singing. Everyone clapped when the ladies came out on the on the end of the line with the lady next door. Hey, Harry took one look and ran off. She, she was almost about uh, she was he was almost out of the park when he heard something look look. It was low and beautiful. Harry stopped and listened. It was even softer than the lower even softer and lower than the cows and the big horn. He wished the lady next door would sing like this. Then he saw where the sound came from. It came from inside the a watering can. Harry had an idea. He took the handle of the can in his mouth and ran away with it. When he got back to the bandstand, he walked quietly up the stairs. The lady next door was singing. Harry put the water can on the floor behind her. Soon the lady sang very high. Then something happened. Two frogs jumped out of the can. One jumped on the lady's head. The other jumped on her shoulder. The other ladies in the contest shrieked and ran from the stage. But the lady next door went on singing. She sang higher and louder than ever. When she finished her song, everyone shouted, Hooray! The judges whispered together. Then one of them spoke, ladies and gentlemen. He said, the other, um, the other ladies in the contest have all gone home. So the lady next door wins the singing contest. She is a brave lady.
she wins first prize. It means she can study music in a far off country for a long time. Everyone clapped and clapped. Her Harry barked and barked. He was the happiest of all. In the middle of all the but he saw hot home. Soon the time came for it to lay next door to go away. Harry went to the street with the family to see her off. He found his eye. Everyone shouted at Harry. Wagged his tail and the lady next door started to sing a good blossom. But no one ever heard her. Just as the first note, the ship blew its foghorn. It was a deep, low, wonderful sound as the ship moved away from the dock. Other boats blew their foghorn to Harry. Thought that it was the most beautiful goodbye song he had ever heard. Jesus.